Spring football's already three weeks in here in Durham, and opportunities are still open for the players on the defensive and offensive lines to battle for positions. Despite key seniors like Seamus O'Neill and Ricky Archer having graduated from the Wildcat line, offensive line coach Alex Miller looks forward to watching both rookies and veterans step up to fill those roles. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, with Mike Kosher getting hurt last year, he'll be back, obviously, as a senior. Um, but you have kids like Tad McNeely and uh, Alex Morrow, who played probably the last 10 games last year. So they've kind of got some games under their belt that I think that'll step in. Um, then we need guys like, you know, George Callis and Alex Blaine to step up and fill those, uh, fill those shoes that uh, Seamus and Ricky left last year. You mentioned Mike Kosha. He's someone who's been crippled by injury, a shoulder injury last season. What's going on with him? What's his status looking like for this season? Uh, he seems to be on track, running around. You know, he's hitting things right now. He should be uh, cleared for August, you know, fingers crossed, and uh, it'll be good to get him back because he's a, he's a heck of a player. Rob, this season you're moving up. You're moving from right tackle to left tackle. What does that feel like for you? Does it feel like a promotion? Yeah, it does. The left tackle obviously carries more responsibility. I came here playing left tackle, and then they needed me at right a couple of years ago, so I kind of stuck around there. And then once Seamus graduated last year, I'm glad I'm Glad I'm moving to the left. I think he'll be fine. I mean, he played it last spring when Seamus was out with his shoulder injury, so he's had some reps there. He's actually done it in games over the years when Seamus has been out. So, uh, you know, it's more of a comfort thing for me, having a kid that's played 30-plus games over at left tackle. I think he'll be fine. Matt, it's your third year as a contributor on the field, and you came in as a walk-on in the beginning. How far have you grown as an athlete on this team? Uh, very far. Uh, a lot of hard work, and uh, thankfully Chappie brought me a long way. What are some personal goals that you've set for yourself this season? Uh, I mean, you got to start from the bottom. You got to you got to go out and have a good camp. Be fortunate enough to be a starter and uh, just play hard. We we tr we really try not to worry about stats. Talk about some of the younger guys on the defensive line. Yeah, uh, Rick Holt's definitely come a long way since fall camp. Uh, Michael, number ninety four, is doing very very well, and Mike Lynch also from New Hampshire is doing well. Yeah, Tad and Alex Morrell. Uh, I know they're gonna have another great season like they did last year. They really stepped up and uh, and took on their role. I expect great things from them this season. After receiving a medical redshirt at the last minute, senior Cody Muller returns to the D-line for his sixth season with the Wildcats. I think it's great. You know, we, we were losing some guys there anyway, so to get him back, I think that, you know, helps the young guys come along the Cam Shores of the world, the Mike Bereznys, just to have Cody back, a kid, like I said, who's played some snaps, can give you some good reps, and, and some leadership is key. I'm very, I was very, very excited when Cody came back. Uh, my uh, sophomore year, I play on the same side of the, uh, of the line with him, and it was fun. And uh, this year, I'm playing on the same side, so I'm looking forward to it. 